This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a kick drum using VCV rack like the one you're hearing now. We'll start by creating an audio output. So I'll type audio into the menu. I'll select my output device. Because I'm on Linux, you won't have to do this on Windows or Mac, but I need to patch the output of VCV rack to my screen recording software so we can hear it. Next we want to create a sequencer, so we'll use the fundamental sequencer 3, a VCO, an oscillator, an ADSR, a VCA, and a VCF, a filter. I'm going to patch the gate output of row 1 to the gate input of the ADSR, and I'm going to turn up every other knob so we get a 4 on the floor beat. I'll then patch the output of the ADSR to the linear input of the VCA. I'll run the sign output of the oscillator to the input of the VCA, then the output of the VCA to the input of the filter and then the low pass frequency output to number one on the audio interface. So we can now hear sound coming from the oscillator. I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and click and drag from the low pass uh, filter to output two so it's in stereo. This just allows me to stack the cables up. And we want to adjust the ADSR so it sounds more like a kick drum. So I'm going to lower everything all the way down and then raise the decay and I'm going to lower the frequency of the oscillator so we have a kick drum like sound but on an actual kick drum you're going to have a you're going to move from a higher pitch to a lower pitch. So to simulate that, we'll create another ADSR. And this ADSR is going to feed into the volt per octave input of the oscillator. And I'm going to hold down control on the keyboard and click and drag from row 1 to the gate input of the new ADSR. You can hear this is affecting the pitch. I'm going to drag everything all the way down on it. And I'm going to open the filter up all the way. So I'm just going to move it up and down so you can hear how the uh, decay affects the pitch. So the higher it is, the more of an attack or chirp. And as we lower it, it's more of a, a steady kick tone. So you can adjust this to your liking. I think this is pretty good. And you can also adjust the decay uh, for the ADSR after the oscillator for however long you want the kick to be. And then I'm going to lower the frequency on the filter take out some of that high-end click and we have a kick sound you can also use the drive on the filter if you want something a bit more aggressive and you can use different waveforms from the oscillator so instead of using a standard sine wave you can use a triangle saw or square wave So there's a lot you can do with this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and visit bkashaaudio.com for more audio tutorials.